yeah yo this is like the third time i'm trying to shoot an intro for those of y'all that don't know me my name is melanie and this is my first ever youtube video i am <laughs> so excited to do this video because over the last few years i've had so many people ask me how do you do your hair and it's just a lot easier to talk about my hair and show you what i do rather than to try and explain it in words so without further ado let's get into the video first off to start off this tutorial i obviously i shampoo and condition my hair i use this coconut oil shampoo from the brand soapbox and so typically when it comes to shampoo i don't use a whole whole bunch and i probably shampoo my hair like once a week honestly so i will take about a quarter well let's be real it's probably like about three quarters size of shampoo and just really focus that in on my root and i will just kind of make sure it's on the palms or yeah like the tips of my fingers and i'll gently massage that in and then i'll get it in the back and keep going and keep going until i make sure that i just feel like my scalp is clean after that i'll just rinse it through i don't even bother shampooing my ends or like the rest of my hair i really just focus in on my scalp since that's where a lot of pr product buildup happens for me and then after rinsing it through sometimes i'll shampoo again but in general i'll just do it once and then once that is done, once I've rinsed all of that out, I will go in with a conditioner. And y'all, when I say that I fly through conditioner, I mean that I fly through conditioner. I use it so much because it my curls just, <laughs> just drink it up. But so this is actually a new conditioner. I've just recently started trying from the brand Odell. I got this at Target. And this is the curl defining conditioner. When it comes to conditioner, y'all, I'm like... <laughs> Like it's, it's all up in my hand and I will just go through. And that's usually when I do a lot of my detangling is when my hair is wet and then I have loads of conditioner in it. And I'll just start at the back and I'll finger rake up until I get to my scalp. And then I usually kind of section out my hair, kind of like so in the shower. That way I can really focus on one half. And then usually I'll just kind of clip it up while I finish showering and at the end, I will rinse out my hair. If you actually use cold water, it helps prevent frizz earlier on. And then when I get out of the shower, I don't touch my hair. These are the two products I use in the shower. And then after that is when we get to play with products. So let's get to that part next. This is my hair pretty fresh out of the shower. Although usually out of the shower, you know, I like wash my face, do my makeup, lotion, all that jazz. So typically my hair will start to dry out a bit. So I always use Wow, let me try having my products ready. I have a just regular spray bottle of water. So first things first, before putting any product in my hair, if I don't put it in while it's very wet, I have this spray bottle ready so I can go ahead and just kind of re-dampen everything and then I'll start putting in product. So here we go. And I just kind of keep spraying until I got a decent amount, until I can tell it's pretty wet. And then I have this dandy little clip so I'm going to section by pulling up the top half of my hair and then we will, well, I will start by adding all of the product to the lower, like I start at the back of my neck and then work my way kind of up to the front. So just go ahead. I just always kind of, oh, that's kind of cute. I'm not mad about that. So I kind of grabbed the top half. Let's hope that this is right it might be a clean line it might not be but i will just go ahead and clip this all up so it's out of the way currently i only use two hair products a cream and then a gel i like to combine the two because of what they can do for my hair this is the first product i will be using is the waydad curl quencher hydrofusion intense curl cream it's a lot of words all that say i will go ahead and like a pump or two that's usually how i'll start and then just start applying to my hair usually something i will do i kind of focus on the mid shaft of my hair all the way to the ends and then kind of work my way up just because i don't want to get too much product build up on my scalp and especially because my split ends are typically what need the most tlc and then as I apply, I'll kind of add more water if needed. But I want to be able to hear my product in my hair when I scrunch. If not, I'll add more. Y'all, I'm not a professional. This is just what I've noticed works for my hair. And of course, I'm always learning, so. 
I'll just grab more and keep going. So you can see why it takes my hair five ever to dry because I'm constantly adding water to it. I'll just really make sure that I scrunch it in. Oh, you can hear that? <laughs> it's about to be an ASMR session real fast, just a second. <laughs> oh wait, that wasn't most good. <laughs> That's what we wanna hear. <laughs> and oftentimes I will say, I just finger rake. Every now and then I will use a wide tooth comb when it comes to detangling but in general I usually just kind of detangle with my with my fingers and typically start from bottom and work my way up to the top to avoid breakage if I see a curl that just kind of seems like it needs help I will go ahead and kind of just detangle a little bit more and then I'll just wrap it around my finger You know, that wasn't the best example, but I'll make sure to show you guys later. I'll take a last pump and just put it strictly on the ends and then really scrunch that in. I'll see, okay, that's kind of nice. So as I continue working through my hair, once I get to the top section, I will just work on a quarter and then make sure to wrap up the other half. The more you work in sections, the better, because then you can make sure that all of the hair is has been treated has gotten some love has gotten some care sometimes even this i will then split into two because it's just too much for me to work with at one time someone once said no curl left behind so that is a good philosophy to kind of carry in as you're working with your product if i'm adding product into my hair it's very easy to kind of just put it all on the outside and then those curls look popping and then underneath there's frizz there's not as much definition the curls are dry so it's really good to section it out so you can make sure that all the hair everything in between is getting treated and has product on it oh that's so good i also make sure that my hair i'm never touching it while it's wet if my hands are dry so even before pulling it back, my hands were already a little damp because if you're using your dry hands on your wet hair, that's just gonna cause more friction and in the long run, will just leave you with more frizz once your hair is dried. So always make sure that if you are working with your hair while styling it, that at least for me, I've noticed that when my hands are wet, that's better. Now I have the first product all throughout my hair. Now the second product that I'm going to put in is a gel. This is the Inner Sense I Create Hold a styling gel for hold and shine. Both of these products are more on the clean side. I recently did switch. I'm trying to use more organic hair products um, this year and see what difference I'll notice in my hair. Usually when it comes to gel, I don't, I would usually not gravitate towards them because I don't like the cast that creates like crunchy hair. That's all that to say this gel is actually pretty good in giving my hair a hold while keeping it soft. I don't usually use a whole bunch. I'll just kind of do a few squirts and scrunch it into my hair and then kind of work until I feel I put it in nothing. That's how much gel I have in it right now. I'm just gonna put it in and again, scrunch it up into my hair. I'll kind of flip too and then keep scrunching it into my hair. The curls at the back of my neck for some reason are so much looser than everything else. Oh, I don't understand it. Like that, What? what is that? all the product is in and usually I kind of try to lay my hair the way I want it to dry if that makes sense so I typically will have bangs kind of here in the front so I just kind of make sure that those pieces are already down in front and kind of give them an extra twist and then scrunch them having curly hair is a lot of scrunching it's a lot of zhuzhing it's a lot of rearranging but also just letting your hair do its thing because Man, for so many years of my life, I really fought my hair. I didn't like it because I didn't understand how to take care of it or to how to help it thrive. So yeah, I had to go through my own journey of really coming to love my hair. And now that I know more about it than when I was younger, I love it. You really can't control curly hair all that much. You can help it. 
but then the best thing you can do is just let it do its thing. Usually too, in this stage, I'll just kind of go around whatever's on top and check and kind of help twist some of the hair to help in, uh, encourage more curl. So sometimes I'll kind of give it a shake and separate everything. And now that all of the product is in my hair, I do my best to not touch it until it is completely dry. When I touch my hair while it is wet, that will create frizz. And then when my hair is dried, it's not as defined as I want it to be. At this point, most people you can air dry or blow dry. But I'm just going to let my hair air dry now because I don't like to put heat on my hair. I want to try and keep it as healthy as possible. So I will now let it air dry for maybe two hours and then I'll come back and show you what I do after that. We are slowly but surely getting there. So as you can see, obviously my hair is starting to dry. It's definitely also gotten darker out. So my light situation is different. Ah, my eyes. My hair is not completely dry yet. I can feel usually the crown of my head is where a lot of uh, the drying takes the longest, so it's pretty damp still a little bit up here. It's kind of like a chia pet, ch -ch -ch -chia. you know what I'm saying? Like, just as it dries, it starts to get more volume, but yeah, almost done. Okay, now it's been at least a few hours. My hair, for the most part, is completely dried. I will then go in and zhuzh my, up my hair. I'll use a pick, I'll use my fingers, anything really to just give my hair more volume and body. I'll just kind of, y'all yeet, throw all my hair to one side going at the root and just shake it up and then flip and again and then down back up in the front a little bit <laughs> and then honestly <laughs> yeah I'll just keep shaking it up like this and then back a couple times to just add more body and more volume like I said I'll usually just use my hands um that's ma majority of the time the route I go but I also have this dope pick from pattern and every now and then I'll just go ahead use this as well to add more volume at the root. The plus side of using a pick is that you can kind of avoid frizz a little bit longer just because your hands naturally will have some oil and this type of material it's just designed to better help your hair and keep it from frizzing up. Oh okay now I'm looking in the mirror y'all this is pretty, pretty solid day one hair. Usually my hair doesn't have that much body on day one. Um, which is why I typically prefer my hair on day two or day three, just because it has more body, more volume, it's frizzed up a little bit. I do like definition, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a volume person, as you can tell. That's my curly hair routine. 360, this, this is the hair in all of its glory. When I was younger, I, did not understand my hair, like I've said before, and because of that, I didn't like it because, yeah, I just felt really clueless as to what was going on on top of my head. But now that I'm older and I'm just learning, I'm still learning, there's still so much for me to learn. I feel like there's a hair on me somewhere. Um, I'm definitely grown to love my hair and I think that everyone should love their hair. All hair is good hair and you just have to learn what works best for you. And yeah, I hope that this is helpful to anyone that feels confused about their own curly hair and that yeah you can feel empowered and walk in the natural beauty that you already have and possess but thank you so much for watching and till next time